Hello, welcome to Across the Park podcast with our females down at Goodison Park. What better place to be? And this Sunday, there is a huge Merseyside derby. Everton women versus Liverpool women. I'm delighted to be joining one of our new signings. I'm going to try and say her name. There's a few ways of saying it. Katrina, Catherine, cool, cool. I think it's Catherine, cool. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, How are of you? course. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. How excited are you for the Merseyside derby this Sunday? Uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Like just to be training here today and being at this lovely pitch, um, I, c- I can imagine that it will be such a good feeling playing on Sunday. I watched you train. I'm excited. The moves are out there. You've got mm-hmm. to bring the moves into into this Sunday. Before we talk more about Sunday, I want to talk a bit about yourself. Uh, a Danish international, a Danish girl growing up in Denmark. You played three or four years over there before coming over to mm-hmm. to England. What was it like as a young? Danish girl playing football, turning pro. Give us the story. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm from a little town in Denmark uh, where I had my school close to me, all my friends, my family. Uh, I lived just a uh, hundred meter beside the stadium I was training on. Wow. So I had everything close to me, and I just really enjoyed playing football. Um, was it school and friends? How, it how was, did it? Yeah, I was five when I started playing. Wow. Um, we had actually many girls who was playing in my little town, so we had a big girls team um, training throughout the week and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, and then I grew, grew, and went to a bigger club in Denmark, and straight from there, now I'm in England. So, how, so yeah. it, before we get to the move to England, I'm quite biased. The Women's Super League is the greatest women's league mm. in the world for me, and it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And maybe around the time you came over to England, uh, were you aware in Denmark how big this league was in England? I don't think I was totally aware before I came here. Like, of course, you hear about these big players, and the, yeah, I mean, it's such a big league. But I th- feel like when you step on the pitch here, it re- it comes to you like how big it really is. Yeah, and I think. Like before you you experience the feeling you you don't have a clue how big football is over <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Because like everyone knows about women's football. I remember when I first came here driving Ubers and stuff, and they were all like, "Oh yeah, why are you playing?" And uh, I'm supporting this team and this team <laughs> and the women, and they they were up to date with everything. And yeah. it's it's not like that in Denmark yet. No. At all. Maybe got there. Hopefully. But look, you moved over to Arsenal. Mm-hmm. How did that happen? How did the move to Arsenal happen? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it, of course, Arsenal is a big club, uh, and it was really excited that exciting that they were interested in getting me. Was it tough to leave Denmark at all? Maybe look, leave home because obviously yeah. you're, you're a young girl to come to a different country. Yeah. Was it tough? Yeah, it, it was tough, but I mean, I really enjoyed, it and I think you should look at football also like. It gives me so many experiences that I wouldn't have if I didn't play football. Mm. And like I feel so lucky could to get the opportunity to go to a different country in such a young age. Like all my friends at home, they're like, "Oh my God, you're living the dream, right? <laughs> uh, going to London and now Liverpool." So I really try to just enjoy it. And I know I have my fam- family and friends. Like they will always be behind me, yeah. even though I'm in another country. You're in two, two of the best cities in the country. I'm biased, mm. but London and Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're a little bit different, but they're both so cool. Yeah. So, 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 sorry, the pun. Cool. Who do you say her name? <laughs> <laughs> but now you're now you're at Everton, I, yeah. and you came over to Everton in January, and I, I was quite excited by the signing. I was, I was googling you because you're very googleable, and, mm. and seeing that you're attacking and things. Um, how has the move to Everton gone so far? Have you been happy here so far? Yeah, I'm really happy here. Um, I think it has gone so quick, like just getting from there to here and straight into games and the league started. And but it's <coughs> just amazing because you just I just want to play football and yeah. we play really well here in Everton. I'm really excited about how the style of players and it suits me really well as a player. So. I really enjoyed it, yeah. I think you fitted in really well. I think you and Rika have made a big difference. That's my opinion. I think you've made a really big difference. No pressure. You've mm. got to continue this on Sunday. Mm. It's the Merseyside Derby. Yeah. Um, there's tickets still on sale. You go to EvertonFC.com to get down here on Sunday to support the women against Liverpool. It's £2 for kids. Can you believe that? £2. Two pounds. Bring all the kids. Bring all the kids. It's an excuse to sit in a different area of the ground. It's an excuse like me to bring my little girl 
who is two is going to be her first game mm, so oh, it's my chance to bring amazing. her yeah. I'd suggest everybody get down to EvertonFC.com and get the tickets it's Liverpool mm. it's Goodison Park have the staff at Finch Farm have your teammates told you how big this game is yeah it's it seems as the biggest game of the history it is. right it is it um, is and I'm really looking forward to experience it because I really try to prepare and I know it's a big game and stuff, but I think when you step out on that pitch on Sunday, you realize that you want to do everything to beat Liverpool. Yeah, exactly. Um, You've got it. You're getting yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> so I'm just excited. How important would that be for you as your career to take yourself away from an Everton player or an Arsenal player or a Danish international for a Merseyside derby in the Women's Super League? How important would that be for you to win that game? so important I mean the most important thing for me is to perform for my team and I know how important this game is for the team uh, and I would do everything I can to get a win both for my teammates and the staff and yeah I mean it's it's the funny games right on the big stadiums yeah. that's what we train for so it's just about enjoying it and giving everything because we got to leave it all on Sunday on the pitch. I hope you do. Mm -hmm. I hope you do. Uh, final couple of questions. We're really happy in that you've had us down to Goodison Park, so thank you mm -hmm. for the invite. There it is out there. It's going to be Sunday. You look at the stands. Yeah. How great would it be to see thousands of thousands of Evertonians back on you on Sunday? Um, I can't wait. It would be so good to see so many people out here and I hope that everyone will get their tickets and <laughs> get a really good experience because I th think it's going to be a big game exciting one it's going to be a massive game everybody again to plug the last plug of the show this is the last show for the Merseyside Derby on Sunday Everton women versus Liverpool women do you have a message for the Evertonians who are going to be down here on Sunday um, yeah I think my message would be like we give everything for you guys so if you show up and support us then you know we're gonna give it back to you on the pitch uh, hopefully with some goals and a clean sheet and all that you fight for love it she's got me in the fields the clean sheet and some goals in the Merseyside derby Catherine thank you so much for joining the Cross the Park podcast best of luck on Sunday thank you EvertonFC.com guys last chance to get down here on Sunday support Catherine and the amazing Everton women I'll be here I'm going to grab it for a selfie at the end and we are going to say up the toffees. <laughs>